Hello everybody, I'm gonna do a first video on the aquaponics system I am building. Uh, it's gonna be in the greenhouse, it'll be in this area over here where the blueberries are. And what I'm doing now is I'm doing a four bed system and I'm gonna have an, I'm gonna go up to an eight uh, down the line, but I'm only having four to start with. And the others will be over this section too. But what I have is the IBC, I'm building an IBC one. Uh, this is the 330 gallon, not the 275, which is normal. I wanted a little bigger tank. I'll go back a little bit. You can kind of see it. It's the same, except, you know, it's, it's a foot higher. Most of the others stop here is the height. This one goes up here. Uh, the only really difference I found is down at the bottom, they don't have the star screws. Uh, they have the bolts, which actually, this is easier. So, but I got the top off, uh, cut the top, uh, just got some PVC in there, and you can kind of see this will be the fish tank, and I'm going to take it off and paint it, take it out. Uh, right now, I don't have the top bars back on, but I'll take this out and I'll paint it. I'm going to paint it a dark green. And then I'm going to gravity from here. I got a 55-gallon drum, portable water. Uh, it'll be a little better support than that. I'm just doing it by height, just for eye. And it'll be something like this. And then right about here, I'll have a PVC here to here, you know, with the union seal on both sides with one just going through. Uh, and then this is going to be a solids removal device, just gravity. Um, the intake will be here, the out tank will be here. I will have some kind of material going like this all the way across from the top down to about three inches to the bottom. So the water has to go down and back up and out. And that'll get a little of the solid stick at the bottom. And then down on the side somewhere, I will have a little drain where I can drain a lot of the solids out. That will just keep a lot of the big solids out from instead of going to the grow beds. Since we got so many plants outside, we can use that water. That'll be a really, really, really good water. Uh, for the water that we can use for our plants every there. So, but I went with a 330 gallon uh, just to hold more fish and so I can get more grow beds out of the deal. And what I might do down the line is add another 330 gallon because I calculated out with the fish, I'll be able to have uh, seven beds, no issue, with a couple NFT trays. That's the ones that are kind of like gutters and the water flows down through them. I'll use them as for one of just strawberries. And I'll have another one that'll call my little quote, quote, you know, starting seed area where I can just start my seeds in any inert material. And the rich water going by, that'll be all the fertilizer I need to start all my seeds I want. So and with, with, the, with this one, I'll have enough to do the seven beds, the two NFTs. So without even an issue, and I'm probably down the line gonna have to either add another bed or maybe add a floating tray or something like that. So, but that's that. And then I'll take you out where I'm doing the actual grow beds. Um, what I was telling you before is that weather had the bolt. You can see the height difference. Uh, these are a lot shorter. Uh, that has, they don't have them here. Those have the screw. Now, that is a size all the way around the bottom and the bar that goes right here. That is a T30 type screw. Uh, no, 40. I'm sorry, T40. I'm sorry. With the exception, the two on either side of where your water release valve is, that's a T30. And the two up here are T30s also. So you got T40s around, except those two. And then the T30s holding the two bars on top and those two bolts there. So those are the size you need. And these will be cut like here. And I'll keep this, you know, uh, like here all the way around. And that'll be the round one of the structures. And down here, I'll cut it here for that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I'll, I'll, you know, I won't even use the bottom pallet things they'll be off so that's them um here is my sump and i'm making a really detailed pdf file don't worry i mean detailed every step of the way i'm taking pictures literally after almost every cut and i will make that public so and at this point i'm already at like 10 10 page pdf so it's going to be a long detailed pdf so this will be detailed highly detailed later in case you're interested this is my sump it's 15 inches high uh, another grow beds there are 14 inches high. Uh, you kind of see if you look close, the 
the marker that I had to mark it and use the level to make sure it was all the way around. Uh, not to keep it level, just make sure the, around the curve was level. So how this is going to be, these four grow beds are going to be on top of the sump, not resting on it. Like one here, one there, one there, one there. So a corner of it's over the top and I can walk between each one so it'll be like almost like a checkerboard with this in the middle. And the ball siphon will go this one will go right there, that one will go in that corner, and that corner, and that corner. And the water, I'll have a pump in here, sub pump. We'll pump here, now these will be in the greenhouse, to the fish tank, and they'll pump it, you know, to the fish tank, and they'll pump it to the grow beds, each one. <clears throat> so that's going to pump it two places. Now, I'm going to be checking oxygen level, but I have a water and air pump but I am not gonna pump air into it right away I'm gonna be marking my like my oxygen meters because what I'm gonna do is with the water coming from these splashing into here when they drain will produce a lot of oxygen if I do have an oxygen I'll put it in here but the water pump since I got a little bigger pump than I need that I pump to the fish tank I'm gonna split it so it's going to come up to, you know, if this was the fish tank, I'm going to have one here and one here coming in. But I'm going to use a Venturi uh, valve. It's a, it's a Venturi effect. That basically causes, basically, think of the water pump with the stem coming down and it shoots out. But you got an air valve coming down that sucks water down. And there's kind of a big thing going back and forth. Oh, you get more just from splashing on top in the Venturi. Um, it, it's kind of like whatever way you want. Uh, it, it's here's it, here's the worst case scenario. I'll have one Venturi and I'll splash the other one if I want to. So and I'm going to check oxygen levels and I'll post you guys what's all that. But I really think with the Venturi going this way there and this Venturi going this way in the fish tank, it'll cause a little more of a circular movement to the water too. Plus the Venturis add a lot of oxygen to the water for the fish and for the plants the little they need. So that's what I have the cut. I got to paint them. Now this one here, this is where I'm going to paint. I'm going to practice on this one. Uh, since the my fish tank in there that was one tank, the 330. Two of these is one 275, and the other two is another 275. But I needed the sump, uh, or the sump came off of one of them, like these two together, these two together. And this one I cut off. So I had this here extra. And I was going to keep it for a bed later, then I started thinking, no, I'm going to get this one painted and get it ready. This is going to be my nursery. Um, cause I'm growing tilapia and I really, I want to buy tilapia once, just once. And then I want to start raising myself. So this is going to be two, serve two purposes. This is going to be beside the fish tank up a little higher. Um, it's upside down, but the top of the fish tank will be right about, you know, I'm sorry, upside down, right about here. So it'll be a couple feet higher, just enough where I can see in and do anything I want to see, you know, without an issue getting a step ladder or anything. But and obviously it's upside down. I got it on a barrel, if you can see, because I'm going to paint it. And then I can practice painting on this one. But then this could be in my nursery. It will also have an effect is I can put water in here. And instead of buying dechlorinator and filtering and everything, I can put water in here and just keep it in here for three, four, five, six days and it'll take care of itself, you know, just on its own. And, and what I'll do is if I do have a, cause I got the air thing, I might put the air in here. Uh, just the air will help get the chlorine better. And then the, the fish in here will need air anyway. So, and then every day, you know, or every couple days, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Every couple of days, I can put some water here into my fish tank to get the level up, to keep the fish tank at a good level, you know, where I can add water or over to the sump pump. As you know, the plants use a little and a little evaporation. Well, then I can put a little water back in here. And that little tiny bit of water I add in here, that little bit of chlorine, reading online in some books, should not affect it at all especially with all the air in there, unless, you know, it's a large percentage. But if I do a little bit at a time, it shouldn't be that big a deal. So this will be my nursery. So, and once in the fish tank, I see a female, uh, 
broadening her young in her mouth, I will remove her and put her in here. Um, and then after she has the young and the young get to about this big, you will be able to sex them a lot easier. And the, the only kind I can get in Texas legally is the uh, Mozambique tilapia. And I looked and you can tell that it's not the easiest, but you can tell the difference. And the males will be bigger, a little bigger right away too. I'm going to try to keep mostly males since I will have more babies and I will know what to do with. Uh, I hate to say it, most of the young, uh, I'll change the shot since I'm just talking, most of the young, female youngs, I, I, you know, I hate to say it, but I will probably, you know, get rid of, you know, when they're younger, I mean, really young. And I'll do a couple purposes with that. Um, one is I will take some and take them out and I will blend them up, you know, not when they're alive. Come on now. But, and then I will make some homemade fish food and I looked at some recipes and I will add that in for the fish food. You know, it'll just for some trace minerals, it'll have a little bit of the, you know, the fish fatties and stuff they need. Not a lot, but it'll some there. And then I can use some of them for other fertilizer around the land too. So, cause um, reading online, I will have more young than I will know what to do with. And if you're in the North Texas area and you're thinking about aquaponics, uh, make sure you keep me informed because if I start having young, you know, uh, come on by and grab some, you know, uh, we can do a trade, you know, uh, you know, bring, bring something good to eat over and, uh, <laughs> and we'll, uh, uh, we'll do a little trade and you can have some of there cause it'll be a little while cause I'm probably about a month out for this tank just cause a lot of my plate with my business and, uh, our church is moving buildings. So just a lot on the plate right now so it's going slow but so the next step I'll paint these and it's gonna be a dark green uh, right there and I know I'm gonna get 500 people asks here's what I got it's outdoor latex you know so that's it you have any questions just let me know